Hello and welcome to Florida Focus. I'm Haley Zarconi. In today's news, a 56-year-old woman was hit and killed by a car last night. According to investigators, Jolie Anna Eaton was turning left onto Gulf Way near 8th Avenue when she hit Maria Rodriguez and Lynn Gillian. Rodriguez was transported to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. Gillian was pronounced dead at the hospital. Deputies say speed or impairment were not factors in the accident. The federal government has rolled out a test website for those eligible for student loan forgiveness. Reporter Aziz Turner spoke with student loan borrowers to get their reactions. In August, the Biden administration approved $10,000 in student loan debt forgiveness aimed toward federal student loan borrowers making less than $125,000. Those with Pell Grants can get up to $20,000 in forgiveness. Student loan borrower and USF professor Stephanie Anderson says she has already taken advantage of the new website, but it may not make much of a dent in her student loans. I appreciate the Biden administration's effort to reduce our student loan debt. However, when you're talking about that large amount of money, $10,000 in relief really is not that much. To apply for the one-time student loan forgiveness, visit studentaid.gov slash debt dash relief slash application. Over the weekend, the Florida Indigenous Alliance gathered to protest of Columbus Day at Columbus Statue Park. The campaign began protesting in speech early Saturday afternoon. Members and supporters participated in the dousing of their hands in fake blood to honor Native Americans killed hundreds of years ago. FIA members are hoping to have statues removed in Tampa and Miami. This year was the third year for the protest. Look out, voters. The 1% sales tax on transportation may still be on the ballot this November. The sales tax is being reviewed in court today for containing misleading and ambiguous wording. As of last Thursday, Democrats of the county commission said they plan to appeal the decision made by County Circuit Judge Anna Lee Gaylord Moe, who invalidated the ballot referendum last week. The sales tax includes building wider roads, improving intersections, making walking and biking safer, and a number of other transportation needs in the county. This has been a Florida Focus News break. Have a great night, and we'll see you tomorrow.